This is Louise Gartner with Spectrum Commodities taking a look at the cattle markets for Wednesday, November 17th. Well, cattle markets were kind of mixed yesterday. Uh, feeder cattle had a nice strong day. Live cattle were pretty flat. In fact, the trading range in live cattle has become more narrow for the last several days. And so it's kind of left us with a converging triangle formation on the charts. And the question is, which direction are you going to break out to? But it's it's at the top end of a rally that we've had over the last couple months. So my guess is that live cattle will take one more push up and they'll take out this converging triangle and that that will probably fail because the market has struggled to really get any kind of momentum going either direction so i doubt that a sudden surge higher will be able to sustain itself without cash markets really moving higher and i i don't see that happening i don't see the packers getting so tight you know, or, or needing cattle that much that they would really just start pushing cash prices all that much higher. In fact, with box beef continuing to whittle their way down, uh, those margins would, would decline pretty fast. They're still pretty healthy, but nevertheless. That's my guess on the direction of live cattle. We'll, we'll, we're we're going to get something to the upside here, and the timing takes us right into the seasonal window of when we're looking for a high late November, early December, that'll probably be some sort of capitulation of this corrective rally. And then I think we start our next leg down. In feeders, that had kind of been my feeling that we've started that next leg down. Yesterday's little jab up, maybe we're going to get a bit more to the upside. But if we can't follow through today on on yesterday's nice day up, then I think that that's a pretty big red flag. And of course, that will depend a lot on what live cattle do and what corn does. It does look like the grain market has had a pretty good hit yesterday. If it doesn't get any follow through today and bounces back, that would suggest that you've that the buyers are still there for the grains. You know, we're still in that uptrending market, and that doesn't bode well for feeders either. So we'll kind of see where this shakes out. But I'm leaning pretty heavily that that the feeder cattle put in their high here last week. Uh, just looking at the price action late last week and early this week that eh, it's it's really struggling to get much going on the upside. Now yesterday may may prove me wrong on that but again if we don't get much follow through from yesterday's nice day up that would suggest that we're just we're just out of gas that, that the buyers are not strong enough to hold this market together and that we're probably going to start to work our way down. In the cash trade, not much going on so far this week. So it's been fairly quiet. But the box beef values have started to, to buckle a little bit. We were down on both of them on the choice and select yesterday. Choice was down 107. We're sitting at 282. Select was down 69 cents at 267. The spread lost 38 cents. We're sitting at 1554. Movement was 162 loads. So box beef. Uh, kind of make it worth uh, counting again here the number of days it's been down choice has been down eight days in a row we've lost eight dollars from the high of November on November 4th at 290 and we're sitting at 282 select is not quite as as uh, clear it's only been down four of those eight days and it's only lost a dollar. In fact, uh, the high was on November 9th at 271. So it continued to work its way higher, the select did, while the choice was already in a fairly strong downtrend uh, for uh, establishing a downtrend. So box beef, you know, already starting to show the signs that it usually does in early December where you know the Packers kind of wrap up their buying for you know the higher quality cuts for Christmas and New Year's and then you start seeing that demand shift expecting that consumers will shift to the lower quality cuts after the first of the year that appears to already be happening and with record high beef prices one would think that after the the holidays are over demand for beef is going to take a sudden turn and that's really what it obviously always boils down to. What's your consumer demand doing? And we know that the feedlots are front end loaded. We know that for the next couple months that there's a lot of cattle that need to come out and, and be processed. But is consumer demand going to be strong enough to absorb it? With record high beef prices, it would seem to me something's got to give in order for that to happen. 
So that's what we're looking for is a little bit more to the upside in live cattle for feeders. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, you know, what today brings. But if we don't get more follow through to the upside, then I think we just need to take a look at, you know, consider that we're probably already started that next leg down. I do look for pressure to come through December for both lives and feeders. It just depends how long it takes us to work our way down. But I look for legs similar to the one that we had from late August into late September, which is a pretty healthy leg down for both lives and feeders. Once we get past that, we get past the, the heavy front end loaded part of the, the feedlots, uh, we get into perhaps some spring demand. And of course, it depends on mother nature, what kind of grazing conditions we have. But you know, we still got some work to do to the downside before we can kind of clean these supplies up a bit and take a look at next season. But, you know, there's a bull market developing in cattle. Clearly, we are in a, a, in the middle of another round of herd liquidation. And that, that just spells tighter beef supplies down the road. The question is, are these record high prices destroying demand? Or are the, the consumers going to be able to step up and be willing to pay higher prices? And I think in the near term, that answer would be no, uh, as we work our way through the winter. In the longer term, you know, you just you eat less beef at higher prices or whatever it is. But um, I do think we, you know, we're, we're working our way toward a bull market. I just don't think we're there yet. So we're, we just, again, still have some work to do on the downside. A couple other numbers to go through the slaughter rates. So far this week, we're at 243,000 head. That was equal to a, uh, last week and 3,000 head more than a year ago. The feeder cattle index was up six cents. We're sitting at 155.49. So again, a short term, probably a little bit more for live cattle. We'll see on feeder cattle, but I think both of these these rallies in both lives and feeders uh, should be sold as we look for another leg down as we get into the winter. If you have any questions, feel free to call 1-800-888-9843. This has been Louise Gartner with Spectrum Commodities.